Retail workers of Reddit, what was your get the F out experience with the customer? I worked at McDonald's in 1997 and we had Beanie Babies as Happy Meal toys at one point. It was insane. They literally had to buy a security cage to keep the toys locked down in the back. They were delivered with a security escort. People were ordering 100 Happy Meals with no food because we couldn't sell the toys by themselves. One day I heard a commotion up front and found my high school counselor reaching across the counter, grabbing one of the owners by the shirt because we were out of the pink flamingo. I'll never forget the look in her eyes. She had to be dragged out. It's scary how easy it can be to work people up into a frenzy. Top comments. Oh my God, this brings back memories. Watching people buy Happy Meals and then dump the food in the trash. Grown adults demanding to know when we'd start selling the kitten slash duck slash pig slash whatever. Me, we'll move on to the duck when the kittens sell out. Customer, when will that be? Me, no idea. Customer, well can you find out? It's amazing how something as seemingly innocent as Beanie Babies could create such chaos. The demand for those toys must have been off the charts if they had to go to such lengths to keep them secure. People going to extremes like ordering 100 Happy Meals with no food just for the toys shows how obsessed people can get. And Opie's high school counselor getting into a fight over a missing toy is definitely an eye-opener. It's a reminder of how easily people can get caught up in the hype and lose perspective. It's both fascinating and a little scary to witness the power of consumerism firsthand. Worked at Radio Shack for six months while in college. Pretty much had at least one terrible experience per shift. The one that stands out the most was a guy who wanted us to honor the warranty of his iPhone cable. The thing was a mutilated mess. It had clearly stopped working and he had tried to fix it himself by cutting the cable apart and attempting to solder two wires together. We calmly explained that we couldn't process a claim for an item that was willfully destroyed. And he starts screaming in our faces about how Radio Shack is a scam and I'm gonna sue all of you. And then he tries to whip my coworker, a five foot tall, non-threatening woman with the cable. She managed to turn her head and catch the wire with her hand before it caught her in the face. Myself and another employee chased him out of the store and called the police but nothing came of it. Radio Shack shoppers were the worst. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. Dealing with difficult customers is never easy, but this takes it to a whole new level. It's crazy how some people can completely lose their composure over something as trivial as a warranty claim on a charger that probably didn't cost them more than $10. It's unfortunate that incidents like these can occur in retail jobs where employees are kind of just told to deal with it. Well, at least Radio Shack is out of business. I worked at a ski resort when I was younger, fitting boots and sizing skis, etc. A ski rental shop. My first year, I worked at basically the Walmart of rentals, the cheapest option in the biggest store. So the week of Christmas, there are lines out the door every single day. I remember seeing my two week paycheck after the two weeks around Xmas, and I worked 119 hours. It was absolute insanity. For another reference, the closest town had a permanent residency of less than 10,000 people. But during Christmas, it jumped up to 70,000 people trying to enjoy their vacation in the same spot. So one of these days, it's business as usual. A quarter mile line out the door, non-stop craziness. I'm at the bench closest to the door helping a lady and this kid walks up to my bench. I asked if I could help him, and he said he had reserved rentals online and he wanted to pick them up. I said, this is our store name. If that's where you reserved, you'll need to get in the back of the line and we'll help you as soon as we can. This 13-year-old kid said, that's freaking BS, in front of the customer I was helping. I told him that, quite literally, every piece of equipment in our store was reserved. Every single person in front of you has a reservation as well, and we have to help everyone. He started insulting me personally, saying I was a stupid jerk and that he was going to report us to anyone he could because we weren't letting him skip hundreds of people doing the exact same thing he was doing. I think what pissed him off more was that I'm 6'3 and big. 
He was maybe five something and 120 pounds. So when he called me a stupid jerk, I literally laughed in his face. I was at no point threatened by this child. And at first it was funny. The first lady left. I'm ignore laughing at this kid and asking the next person to come up. And he starts yelling cuss words at me because I'm not helping him. Up until this point, my manager had been a complete jerk and I was not a fan of him. But he'd had enough of Christmas rush as well and it was a perfect person to let off some steam on. I went and got my manager and told him this kid was personally attacking me and yelling cuss words in front of our customers. So he walks up to the kid and says, I'm sorry for the confusion. What's your name so I can take a look at your reservation? And the kid lights up thinking he finally beat the system and he gets in front of everyone for throwing a big fit. My manager goes and finds his reservation. It's digital, but I'm pretty sure he printed it off for the added dramatic effect. Comes back and says, I found it. He proceeds to rip it in half in front of his face. Don't ever treat someone that's trying to help you like that. You are never allowed in our store again. And with every other store in town also being completely 100% booked on equipment, good luck skiing this week. I still didn't like the guy, but I respected him one point more for the rest of the season for standing up for me. Top comments. How did the kid react? He tried arguing for a minute, but ultimately walked out huffing and puffing. I would have loved it if he got in trouble for ruining his reservation, but yeah, I assume his parents just bought him a snowboard instead. The entitlement exuding from that kid is staggering. That kid definitely had a lesson coming his way. It's incredible how entitled some people can be, even at such a young age. Working the holidays is already stressful. But then to have this kid verbally attack you for doing your job would drive me up a wall. Kudos to OP for not letting his insults get to you. And even finding humor in the situation. And even though OP didn't particularly like their manager, it's great to see that he finally stepped up and put that disrespectful kid in his place. This tale takes place roughly 22 years ago at a community college bookstore. As with any college bookstore, the start of the semesters were incredibly busy. In order to help ease insanity in our small store, we set up a table outside the front for doing returns. And that's where I was stationed for the day. People got in line. They got to me. I processed the paperwork for the return and set them inside for the cashiers. This is an important point. I had no cash, no ability to process cards. Just me, a table, a stack of paper, and some pens. That's it. Well, a middle-aged lady gets to me. She is obviously not lacking in funds. Her son has dropped all his classes and she is returning his books. Okay, cool. I do all the paperwork, hand her back the document, and direct her inside. And she goes ballistic that she has to wait in line again. I mean, starting nuclear war is ballistic. The customers in line behind her actually went to my manager to, to file formal statements about her behavior. Not mine, hers. Because they knew. I take a break and shake it off. Everyone has bad days, and I know that I have the customer's statements to back me up. A few days pass and the manager gets a call. It's the president of the college, with a complaint. The woman called the president of the college to complain about me. So my manager and I headed off to a meeting with the president and the woman. We walked in calm and polite. The woman tells her tirade, still screaming and cursing. My manager pulls out the statements and, without a word, hands them to the president. The president calmly read them. I don't remember exactly what he said, but I do remember watching the woman turn more and more red. I do remember the word entitled used a lot, and I do remember him saying, don't waste my time ever again, before he showed her the door. Top comments. I really just don't understand people sometimes. I know some people are raised rich and spoiled and stuff, but to get to that level of disregarding the person in front of you, I don't understand. Wow, that woman really went above and beyond in her entitled behavior. It's mind-boggling how some people can react so irrationally and make such a huge fuss over something as simple as having to wait in line. It's a relief that the customers behind could tell she was being ridiculous and stood up for OP by filing formal statements. It's both hilarious and satisfying to hear that she took her complaint all the way to the president of the college. The 
that the best part of the story is when Opie's manager presented the statements and the president saw through her unreasonable behavior. It must have been a satisfying moment to hear the president get on her for wasting his time. Dealing with difficult customers can be challenging, but it's reassuring to know that Opie's manager and the college president had their back. I was 18 and worked at a local grocery store in the produce department. Beyond regular duties, we made fruit trays on weekends. Nothing fancy, just a variety of cut up fruit and large red bowls. Dude comes in after 10 p.m., we close at 11, and asks for a tray with specific fruits. I tell him we unfortunately don't make custom trays. The 16 year old dude who was also on shift with me overhears and tells him it's slower tonight so we can do it for them. He says, okay, good. No gratefulness displayed at all. This coworker of mine is legit always extra kind to customers. It's legitimately admirable. 20 minutes later, my coworker comes out of the back room and presents it to the customer. He immediately starts screaming at him about how bad it looks. He yells things like, that looks like absolute garbage. Are you an idiot? I run over to see what the problem is. The fruit tray looks absolutely standard, but this guy isn't having it. He smashes it on the ground and keeps screaming about how we are idiots and how we have wasted his time. I snap. I tell him to get the F out. He postures up, keeping in mind this guy is like in his 40s, ready to fight some teenagers over a fruit tray. Numerous other employees run over and yell for him to get out. He says, I'll be back for all of you idiots, and runs towards and out the sliding doors. All this on camera, luckily, so management calls the cops regarding his actions and that last threat. They ended up arresting him later on because apparently he also had some warrants. Hope the fruit was worth it, a-hole. Top comments. Perfect moment to yell out, how you like them apples, if there ever was. Similar experience. Working assistant general manager at a fast casual restaurant and some 40-something woman starts going off on my cashier. I round the corner from my desk to see her dump soup all over our front end cooler and knock a bunch of stuff on the ground. I tell my cook to call 911, say there is a woman causing a disturbance and breaking stuff. Address is next to the phone. I walk up and stand behind the counter and put on my happiest manager face, so overly happy that it drove the woman even more into a fit. So raging cyclone mad Karen starts knocking stuff off the counter, throws two IBC root beers on the ground, and starts yelling at another guest who tried to come over and defuse the situation. I hold out for another few minutes before two cops run in. She has been screaming for a refund for 10 minutes at this point and breaking stuff. Cops walk in. I point at her and say, get her the F out of my restaurant. She was arrested. Apparently her soup was too hot. Thanks for the freaking headache, Karen. I comped seven meals of other guests, had to work a double because my cashier was in a state and had to deal with the cops. Screw food service. So glad I'm out. Feel free to confirm or not, but was this at a Panera perhaps? I used to work at one and this 100% sounds like something that would happen there. Most of the people that came in are nice and calm, you know, like a normal person. However, about one in every 15 people to come in there was just an unruly, stuck-up, entitled, pompous a-hole. I had one lady yell at us for not having butter out and ready. People complain about their mac and cheese being too hot. I had an adult try and fight me over the bowl size of his salad. Not the amount of food in the bowl, but he was specifically upset that the small salad came in a small bowl. One lady actually said, this avocado is too spicy. That place is freaking weird. What a piece of work. Your coworker went above and beyond to accommodate that guy's request, and instead of being thankful, he tried fighting him and OP over some fruit. It's disturbing to think that someone in their 40s would stoop so low as to curse out and threaten a group of teenagers over a fruit tray. I'm glad that the incident was captured on camera and that management took it seriously by involving the police. It's satisfying to know that this customer faced the consequences of his actions. Hopefully, this served as a wake-up call for him to reassess his behavior and priorities. But I doubt it. People like that usually don't change. Thanks for watching, and let me know down below if you agree with the verdicts. 
Also, consider checking out my other channel, star underscore thing art, where I post my artwork and my Etsy, Starving Art Company, where I sell my art prints and stickers. Bye.